Hey babes, it's Jess. And um, we are sitting on my bed today. It's a little undone because one of the cats puked on it. So um, my sheets are in the wash. I already washed my blankie and it's just spread out. Slightly damp still, spread out to dry. Um, so um, what do you think of my lipstick? It's a new one. It is um, Orchid Ecstasy. Don't know if you can see that from Maybelline, but I think it's gorgeous. I think it goes with my hair very nicely. I like it. Um, but today is a little bit different kind of video. I wanted to talk about self-esteem and inner beauty versus outer beauty because you know this is also this is something everyone struggles with but especially women and even more so women who might have a disability of some kind I know I've struggled with it in the past you know that's just a natural thing that we all go through and so I just I thought it was an important topic to discuss and um, recently a couple of people that I'm subscribed to on YouTube have done similar videos. Um, I'll go ahead and link you to those below. One is from um, Emmy at Simply Bellezza and one is from Candy Johnson. So go ahead and check those out as well. Um, but I just wanted to say, even though I do talk a lot about makeup and hair, I haven't really talked about clothes yet on my channel, um, that's not what makes a person beautiful. What makes a person beautiful is how you feel and um, how you act, your attitude, your um, <clears throat> attitude toward others. Are you a caring, kind, loving, giving person? That's the kind of things that make you beautiful. And, you know, there can be someone who is physically the most gorgeous person on the planet, but they're, they could be selfish, mean, um, bitter, angry, what have you, and that in turn makes them ugly. And, um, you know, this is probably nothing new to anybody, but, you know, it's true. It's sometimes those old kind of cliche things, you know, they, they become cliche for a reason. They become cliche because they're true. And, you know, um, it, it really all matters about what you feel inside. Um, if you are happy with your outer appearance and you feel beautiful and um, sexy and vibrant and confident that's what matters um you know and that can be you know if you feel more com most comfortable and most beautiful without any makeup on that's fantastic you know um I don't always wear makeup I'm the only makeup I'm wearing right now is this lipstick and it's just because it was brand new and I hadn't worn it before and I wanted to try it um but you know there's plenty of days where I don't wear makeup and or I don't do anything in particular with my hair uh you know even if I'm going somewhere you know maybe I just don't feel like it that day or I feel like you know I'm having a good hair day so I don't need to you know fiddle with it whatever it is um I'm confident enough in myself <clears throat> that I don't always need um the face paint or what have you. Now there's some days that I want to do it just because, you know, hey, I'm in the mood to, you know, do up my eyes a little bit or um, what have you. Um, and for example, like my nails, I always feel better about my outward appearance and myself in general if I've got my nails done. Um, you know, I tend, I'm just one of those people that I tend to have dry skin on my hands, so I get like scraggly cuticles, and I just don't think it looks very nice. And so that's why I really make an effort to keep my nails done and keep them looking pretty and put together. It's just, that's just my preference. But you know, if you're not into doing your nails, then don't do your nails. If you're not into makeup, 
don't wear makeup. Um, you know, uh, and it took me a long time to really become comfortable with my outer beauty to the point where I felt like, hey, you know, I don't care what other people think. I'm going to dress how I want. I'm going to do my makeup how I want. I'm going to do my hair how I want. I'm going to get tattooed because I like it. That stuff makes me feel good. It makes me feel even more confident and more sexy. And it's, you know, it's, and it's an outward expression of how I feel about myself inside. And that's the key, I think. Um, and if you really stop and take a minute and think, okay, how do I feel about myself on the inside? <clears throat> do I feel confident? Do I feel sexy? Do I feel beautiful? Or do I feel fat? Do I feel ugly? Do I feel like a freak? Um, you know, really take the time to think about that and figure out where you are. And then take the time to think about why, if you feel negative about yourself, why do you feel that way? Is it because other people are telling you these things? And if that's the case, do whatever you possibly can within reason to get those kind of people out of your life. I know it may not always be possible to do so because sometimes it's a sibling or unfortunately even a parent. Um, but you know, do whatever you possibly can to rid yourself of people like that because A, what they think doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you think about yourself. What they think about you is completely irrelevant. It has no bearing on your worth as a person. And clearly, you know, I always feel like people who say those kinds of things about others, probably inside, they actually feel those things about themselves. And that's why they say those things to others. They want other people to be as miserable as they are. They want to know that they are not alone in their misery and discomfort about themselves. There's that old saying, misery loves company, and it is so true. So, <clears throat> whatever it takes, you know, unfriend that person from Facebook who's always, you know, criticizing your latest hairstyle or, you know, your latest outfit. If your boyfriend is telling you that, you know, you need to lose weight, get rid of him. He's not worth it. Um, whatever the case may be, get those people out of your life. They are bringing you down to make themselves feel better and that is never, never, never okay. You need to be confident in yourself. And that's not to say that you have to be complacent either. Um, if, you know, if you do have a weight problem or maybe you're just not even in in shape and you'd like to be in better shape it's okay to um, go on a diet and work out with the goal of losing weight or, or getting in shape in mind there's nothing wrong with that as long as you do it in a healthy way um, but you also have to be at least content and accept where you are right now because you cannot change the things you cannot accept. Um, and um, Emmy from Simply Bolezza really gets onto that kind of topic more in her video, so I'm not gonna go too much into that, but you know, if um, your weight or whatever is a struggle, definitely please watch her video. Like I said, I'm gonna link it in the description box. Um, I love her so, so much. She is amazing, beautiful, wonderful person. She is one of the sweetest, most giving, loving people I have ever met in my life. I am so privileged to call her my friend. And, um, and yes, she is a big girl, but she loves herself. Um, and that's, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing because unfortunately there's so much 
like fat shaming in the world these days and people are made to feel bad if they have a weight problem even if it's you know due to a medical condition or something that they really can't control um you know unfortunately people with disabilities are often made to feel like they're not good enough um you know people have told me that because i can't work anymore you know i'm not um, contributing to society or like I'm a drain on the system because I do get some government assistance in order to live um, and yes people have told me those things but you know you you need to be and yes I get angry about it but it doesn't make me feel bad about myself because I know that I'm a good person um, you know I give of myself as much as I can to my friends, my family, you know, I'm the first person, you know, if, if somebody needs somebody to talk to you or, or what have you, all my friends know that they can come to me with anything. And um, if they want it kept confidential, it's not going to get out in the world. You know, I'm not a gossip. I'm not any of that. So, you know, I hope at least my friends think that about me um but yeah anyway so uh yeah just if you're not comfortable with yourself you're never going to be truly truly happy and so you know that's how to get there is different for everybody um so I can't really particularly give you specific advice on that unless you want to contact me <clears throat> and maybe tell me your situation. Um, people tend to come to me for advice on a lot of things. Um, but, you know, you need to be happy with yourself and don't care what other people think. If you want to dye your hair pink, dye your hair pink. I did not ask anybody's opinion or thoughts before I did this to my hair because honestly, I don't care. It's my hair. And if I want it pink, it's going to be pink. Um, fortunately, everybody so far seems to really like it. Um, but, you know, it's like I, you know, I've never gotten anybody's opinion before I've gotten a tattoo, which I have nine. And um, if I wanted somebody's opinion beforehand, I would have asked for it, but I didn't want it. And... Uh, you know, most people, I, I get so many compliments on my tattoos just from random people. And like I said, my outward appearance is a reflection of how I feel about myself on the inside. Um, my tattoos are just an art form that I carry with me. They're an expression of me. Same with my hair. Same with the way I do my makeup. When I do my makeup. Same with the clothes I wear. It's all an expression of how I feel about myself. I don't have the perfect body. You know, I'm, you know, I could probably stand to lose a little bit of weight, but you know what? That's okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel good about myself. Uh, my boyfriend uh, is always telling me how pretty and cute and adorable I am and how he loves my face and he loves my butt. And, you know, I could stand in the mirror and criticize all the little bitty flaws that I perceive in myself, but chances are other people don't see those things. They, they see the good things, whether it's inside or out. And um, if you've got anybody telling you different in your life, they're not your friend. And tell them to hit the road. Because you are better than that. You deserve better than that. You deserve to be happy. And if somebody's bringing you down, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So, um... I hope some of this is making sense. I'm just kind of rambling. I didn't like prepare anything specific to say. But um, I hope this uh, reaches somebody. Um, if, it, if it makes a difference for one person, it's totally worth doing this video. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. Um, if you'd like to contact me, <coughs> um, go for it. I'm always open to people, um, talking to people. I love making new friends. So... Hey, just hit me up no worries um so i hope you guys are having an awesome day and hope the rest of your summer is amazing and i will see you later bye